Here's some health news. A preliminary study says a combination of an experimental mRNA cancer vaccine and an immunotherapy can lower the risk of melanoma returning. That combination also reduced the risk of death from melanoma in patients who had surgery. This news coming from pharmaceutical giants Moderna and Merck. The trial included 157 patients with stage 3 or stage 4 melanoma who'd already had surgery. The companies say the treatment reduced the risk of cancer recurrence or death by 44 percent compared to immunotherapy alone. So let's talk about that. And that's where we bring in Dr. Pyle Coley, our health expert. Let's talk about, we hear vaccine and I mean, we've only been talking about certain <laughs> vaccines recently, but this is a personalized cancer vaccine? Yeah, cancer vaccine, it's such a novel concept. So immunotherapy, the idea of using our immune system to fight the cancer is something we've been working on for decades. We've made you know significant advances, but a cancer vaccine in the past has not really shown these types of outcomes benefits mm. up until now. So essentially what they do is they make a messenger RNA vaccine. So they take your specific cancer, they look at the genetics and the mutations in it and then design a personalized vaccine, give it to you during the course of your treatment and have your immune system sort of wake up, learn that the cancer is bad and start to attack so it. So when you say personalized in your cancer, everyone has an individual cancer because I think of, you know, breast cancer or bone cancer or any of those particular, that's the specifics, but you think cancer person A is different than cancer person B. Exactly right. So one person's breast cancer can have a different genetic signature from another person's breast cancer. Now what's tricky about cancer, just like we've learned with the viruses, is that it mutates very rapidly. Mm -hmm. So you got to keep up with it. And parts of it can mutate differently. And it also has all these other chemicals that it releases that give it a protected immune environment. So it keeps our immune system away, it kind of puts a fortress around itself. And the solid tumors are very good at doing this. That's why we're thinking of combining combining the cancer vaccine with something else like Keytruda, which is another type of immunotherapy that helps our immune system be stronger to really penetrate that fortress that the cancer creates around it. So, I mean, when you think of cancer, it's like, it's it, for, for oncologists, it's hard to know how each patient responds when you treat cancer. So that's part of it. It's also, there's that genetic component. Like so many times when you talk about breast cancer, the genetic component, does that matter too? Like you combine genetic testing with the personalization of a cancer vaccine? This is the future of cancer okay. therapy. What we were doing in the past, chemotherapy, poison to right. every part of our body, including the normal healthy tissues, radiation only to the cancers we can see. But this is how we get smart about it and use not just our immune system, but also the, the signature of the genetic signature of the cancer to really personalize the types of treatments that we're giving to patients. And to Tom's point, every patient might get a different treatment based right. on the genetics of their cancer, based on the immune characteristics of their cancer and the cancer vaccines that are designed. So when we're talking about treating melanoma, you know, to the layperson, cancer is cancer. But I mean, when you talk about any advances in the fight against melanoma, does that affect leukemia? Does that affect all these other diseases and cancer related issues? Very much so. Now we usually think about solid and liquid cancers because they behave a little differently scientifically. But in terms of solid cancers, breast cancer, lung cancer, in fact, there are ongoing trials in many of those types of cancers with messenger RNA vaccines. And one thing the COVID pandemic has done is it's really ushered in, told us, given us the roadmap for how to design effective messenger RNA vaccines. And I'm hopeful that this is an inflection point in our fight against cancer. It's really opened the door for us to change the way we think but about it treating it. seems like such good news, at least now. It's great news. It's a scientific okay. breakthrough in, in our fight with cancer, which I think is one of our biggest foes. Well, we will uh, obviously want to hear more about it. We'll get a chance to talk to you about that as well. It's always good to see you. Thanks again, Dr. Powell Coley.